but it worked. Now we gotta wait till he's walked in before we can wave again. Which is totally fine, because here, let the guards go away. Oh my god. So yeah, you see this is a really close game. Uh, with the quicker guards. But we managed. All fine. Barrett's being a little bit enthusiastic, enthusiastic about fooling and killing Shinra's. This floor is actually kind of funny because, well, the door's broken. So, no need for a keycard here. And the thing you need to do here... Receptionist? What? So yeah, the thing you need to do here to continue further is actually do not talk to this guy. Because then he will just assume that we are here to repair the door. And because then he will give us the keycard 62. Things. Sure. Oh, boring. Okay, she's basically just teaching us how to use an elevator. Anyway, so the interesting thing is if we get a key card, let's say 65 She say this woman just said that person said that it would only bring us to the To the specific floor, which is actually not true You can access the floors in between as well. So if we get a key card 65 now We will we can access 63rd and 64th floor as well. This is the Midgar Mayor's office. Oh my god. So yeah, the mayor. A very disgruntled mayor. Sorry. And he's so disgruntled with Shinra. He's playing games with their security. Ah, come on. So. Thing is to guess a password. Um, the, the usually you... Um, what again? Um... Anyway. Okay, so. The thing here is, we have these different... Uh, never mind, I think I need to go here first. Yeah. Urban, urban Development Research Library. We got four different... Scientific Research areas of library here, as you can see. And in each of these libraries, there are these shelves. Plan for new land weapons. Ranks and extended use of Marco weaponry. anti reactor. Oh yeah, there are, oh, there, are, there are plenty of things here. <coughs> Sorry. And the idea is that you need to find 
the book that does not fit in. And then you get the number, and I think the number is from you put into a. You just count in the alphabet, and then you get a four letter word. And that's the password. You can, however, <laughs> just go with the logic and say, hey, I'm in the Shinra building. Shinra is an energy company that's got its fortune by managing Marco energy, and this whole city is run by it. So what might be... <coughs> okay, in the German version it's Marco. Holy shit. Oh my god, my... <coughs> Give me a second. What the hell? Okay, we gotta play this game. Apparently the, the password is a different one the EU v uh, in the EU, EU version. Apparently, uh, sadly we've already lost the, the bonus, which is, I think, some kind of material. Urban development research. Oh god, this is gonna be so boring. Trade construction, yep, that's urban development. Urban planning, well, doesn't get much more development than that. This is definitely wrong. Biolic, this does not belong here. It's a, it's a 1, so it's an A. Oh wait, what's, what's this? Scientific research. Mm, this is scientific. This is scientific. This appears to be somewhat scientific as well. History? I don't know. Hmm. Six, fourteen, or three. Ah, oh, it's. See, this is a, this is why I hate this riddle. Let's just use the help. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine by me. You know what? We botched the first try thingy anyway. So I'm just gonna go. It's not best. Hmm. Bomb. Okay, this is so oh no. No American jokes now. Okay, whatever. We got the keycard. 65. Finally got it. Wait, what? Okay, usually we get a... Oh, whatever. I don't know. Okay, so I think we would have gotten something better if we had guessed it the first time. But I don't want to load now, so yeah. A potion it is. And now you can see that in the lift... Ta-da! Two... oops! Two extra floors accessible to us. And this one is a bo more boring one, so we'll do that one after because the other one is another riddle but it's actually a one uh, one of the riddles I do like isn't it wonderful
Okay, so the deal with this story We may open three so there are there are different coupons in this story. We can see one of them there. I think the other ones are hard to see now. And I think we want to open this door anyway. There's a second one. And there's the third one. And I think I already failed. Yep, I already did. The, the, we um, Getting one coupon is... Uh, when we get a coupon, we can exchange it for a specific item. According to... Um, yeah, we can ch exchange for an item. We can also reset all of it, but we will of course lose the coupons we got in the process. Um, there is a way to get all three. All three uh, coupons. And it's by clever use of the air ducts. Only I could remember how exactly you need to go. I remember that you need to you, you open two doors, then you go the go through an air duct, open the third one. And then you basically got all three. I need to open this door just to, just to be able to see the rest of the area. Oh, there's the door. Oh, stupid me. Yeah. So it's here. Here we can go in. Receive the A coupon. Here we can go into the air duct. I mean, the system already hinted at us that we do not... Go are not supposed to go in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, get up there. Perfect. So yeah. This is this is the kind of riddle I like because we really need to think about it instead of just finding the proper files. And key item C. And now instead of going all the way back into the other one and then all the way around, there's the air ducts that lead it to the main chamber with the automator automaton as a shortcut which is exit only nice thinking by square there and now coupon change so these are the items you can have star pendant four slots all material Of course, once you have, if you go and get one coupon and exchange it here, you can't reset. Of course, would be stupid. Since we have three coupons, we get all of the items. Um, material. We got a second. Um, how am I doing that? Where's lightning there? gonna do it like that. So we got one all heal and one all lightning now. And this is the riddle of this floor. Now we can go to the 64th, get some free items there and rest and save. That's what the floor is mainly for. If you don't use this floor, the whole building is basically a very 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 long run without any chance to save. So yeah, in the lockers here there are some items. Um, locked, 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 locked. Oops. Aha, another. Um, 
Megaphone. Okay. That's it. That's as far as I know everything you can do here. Let's get some rest. I mean, it's not like Aerith is in danger or something. <laughs> and most of all, safe. Oh yeah, by the... Oh, I, I totally forgot. Uh, the Star Pendant and the four slots. So the Star Pendant is the SS Swamp that protects us from poison, which is nice, I think. Give it to her since she's catching the most attacks. And the four slots is, as you can see, uh, yeah, simple, right? <laughs> Less defense, more slots. That's basically a trade-off that many armor has. But now we just wanna save this. Fuck the item from the Major. And yeah, finally on to story 65, which is the one we should take. Well, we are we about to, we got to take for the, for the story. Okay, stories from the building and story as a plot is kind of... Kind of stupid... Ambigu amb ambiguity? I think it's ambiguity. Oh no! Oh my fucking god. Third riddle. That's not... It's not much of a riddle. The thing is, in this place is hidden. Okay, so so this is the big model of Midgard that is used for the for the train simulation videos and everything. And there are lots of chests here. Most of them are locked. This one is an exception. We find Midgar parts. We can use these parts to put them into one of the sectors. Ta da! And then another chest opens. So now we gotta go find which chest opened. And at the end of it all, the last chest that will be opened contains the next key card. There are random encounters in this area. And we always got to go through this whole dialogue. I'm not kidding. This is... I do not know what person thought that this would be a good idea. And apparently my muscle memory which tr uh, ch oh, chests open, in what sequence the chests open, is still functional. This, by the way, is not a, a, played, a, a missing part of the laboratory. This is Sector 7. It's actually what it looks like, most of it. So I don't know what person thought this would be a good design, forcing the character to do such a repetitive task over and over again. I mean, having one chest with the parts of Midgar who need to be put into a model, that's fine. It was a nice idea, seeing the model of Midgar and everything, that's okay. Doing it twice, okay. But three times is really the limit, and everything above three times is just ridiculous. I mean, there is as far... Uh, I, I, I once heard that there is uh, kind of like a, uh, a rule in music, that you do not repeat the same bit of music twice in a row. And um, I think that holds w uh, true for mechanics like this as well. You don't make the player do the same task more than twice in a row. Because it's just... It's just mind-numbingly dumb. I also um, on purposely didn't use uh, Tifa's Limit. Because there's something special about Tifa's Limit that we have not seen before. And I w didn't want to... Interrupt myself. Uh, okay, which one is open now? I think the one over here. I mean, now just imagine a person who does not have this 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 fleeting memory of which chests opens. 
So you gotta check all the chests every time. Not all of them, maybe two or three before you find the right one. And then you have more more random encounters of course again and everything like that. So this can be really one of the ni mind more nine more mind numbering stories. Totally not a good idea. You could steal something of those guys, I think. There was something worth something was special about them. Let me try and steal from him. So yeah, uh, one more thing that we can't see from... Oh, uh, what? Oops! Weak against lightning. What the? Did he just disappear? Oh, Cloud is confused. Uh, Barrett, would you kindly wake Cloud up? Okay, so confusion... It's pretty obvious what fusion, fusion does, right? Also, their chance to confuse a character is really low. But I think you can steal something good from them, so I really want to try this. Okay, never mind. Come on, appear. Thanks. So this is what Tifa's later limits look like. As you can see, Tifa's uh, each of each single one of Tifa's limit techniques are weaker than the others. But Tifa gets to use all her limit techniques in a row. All that she's learned, of course. So in total, con uh, given that you succeed on her slots, you get a very strong limit. The thing is that later techniques have uh, on uh, starting with the second slot, so the second limit, you get an uh, you not only have hit and yeah on your <coughs> on the on the roll, but also a third one that is miss, which simply means that this technique this technique will not be executed at all. And later techniques have fewer yeahs, more misses, and also all this positioned in a more nasty way. I think the last wheel is like one year surrounded by many misses on every side and maybe two or three hits on the opposite side of the roll basically. So it's you're off by one bit little bit and you're guaranteed to fail. Okay so there's a conference room and oh my god all the important people are there. Can we just go in and kill them? Well as a matter of fact, no, we cannot. But this guy just told us a little hint. And this one does as well. The conference room smells. And the bathroom whispers. Since we can't check the conference room for garbage in the corners, we gotta check the bathroom for hidden speakers. Well, there are no hidden speakers. But... There's a ventilation duct, and you know every good hero has to is, is is virtually forced to creep into ventilation ducts. And oh, where might this take us? Surprise! Ten billion Jill. That's quite a lot. I think that's more than we will accumulate in this in the game.
What the hell is wrong with that guy? Oh man. I can imagine that Barrett's right arm is twitching a lot right now. Scientific talk. Pseudo-scientific talk. Yay. Do you, don't you all love it? So yeah, now we might know who Aerith's mother wanted Aerith safe from. And yeah, a lot, a lot of things falling into place. Also we know Aerith's mother's name, if only Aerith knew. Well, so Hojo being sadistic like he is, he maybe even told her. Like, isn't it fateful that you sit in this chair that once your mother occupied, something like that. I can totally imagine that. Oops. This is horrible. You need to press down to crouch towards the camera in this screen and up to to, to to go away, which is opposite to the forward-backward uh, analogy. So I often press the wrong key there. Anyway, oh my god, the room is empty. Where have they all gone? Oh my god, there's still someone to follow. Lucky us. And even luckier that it's Hojo, the one who's keeping Aerith captive currently. And even more lucky that he's so deep in thought that he's leaving all the doors wide open. Aren't those automatic doors? How does it even work? I don't know. See, we don't have a keycard for this floor, but he's so kind to leave the door open for us. Also, I think it's rather significant that the um, the research lab has higher priority than the control and conference uh, floor. Tells you a lot about the company. So apparently Hojo has a has a reputation in Shinra. Hey, can we can I just go in here and annoy you? Hehehehe. <laughs> no one asking any questions. Good employees they are. Oh my god, I think I might Okay, for those of you who are listening to this on your headphones, I might